That's the first time I've ever seen anybody get spit on by a reticulated python, or any snake for that matter. Noah, you're a special guy. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you guys doing on this wonderful day? I hope it's going really well for you guys. It's going pretty good for us. Got a busy day as we usually do around here. Uh, first off, I'm gonna have to run to the post office and drop off some of these stickers, some t-shirts, and some of these cool metal prints for some of our folks that either won on the trivia on last Tuesday's live stream or also our Patreon supporters who are doing very well. In fact, on Patreon, we're really close to the level where we're gonna start doing daily content there and even live streams just on the Patreon. So I'm pretty excited about doing that because it'll be a little more of a personalized live stream and I'm really looking forward to doing some of that. But right after we get back from the post office, I figured we'll pop in here and check out some of the big retics because we did do an episode a little while back about all the ball pythons I keep. So I think today we're gonna do all the reticulated pythons that I keep. Check those out, see how they're doing. Maybe get the boys involved. Like with this girl right here. My big girl, Betsy Ross. Uh, although it looks like looks like she's in shed. Probably doesn't want to be bothered too much today. Yeah, she's giving me the old get away from you guy <laughs> move. So we'll, we'll let her be today, but we're still gonna look at all the rest of the retics, all right? I imagine with all this technology, fewer and fewer people are going to the post office with Amazon delivery and all that, so. Look at that, I actually got something in my fan mailbox. Cool. Let's go open it up. Leave a comment down below and let me know how many of you guys actually still go to the post office. Don't look at the address, no cheating now. Oh, Mr. Garth Waters. Coming through on the stolen camera replacement fund. Thank you very much, Garth. I appreciate it, man. Look forward to see you down in Pomona, yeah? All right, guys. Let's go home and check out these big snakes, yes. All right, now before we go check out the snakes, I forgot something very important. It is Phonetic Friday. I don't know how I forgot that. We started it just last Friday. Basically, anything that starts with Friday to have some fun with fr frickin' frack and frookin' frock. You know what I mean? Friday. Fix a flat with your Fountain Valley friends while you're trying to fly down the freeway on a... F you get the idea. So, today is Fat Boy Friday. So, Miguel Garcia over at Always Evolving Pythons... Oh, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons has called me out on a fat challenge. So, it's Fat Friday. Fat challenge meaning we're, we're gonna do some kind of thing to see who who can lose the most weight I guess and I accept it. Miguel, I, I watched that, I saw the video, I accept the challenge. I'm doing it for a number of reasons. First of all, I think your shirts are actually just too small. Uh, so that might actually be the problem. No, but, but it's, it is important for me to get healthy. Uh, you guys who have been subscribed to the channel for a long time are like, here we go. Broken record, Brian is just at it again. I know, I know, I've, I've done some challenges before and I've lost them. This one, I'm gonna stick with. It's, it's important to me to stay healthy and I know I'm not in the worst shape of my life, but it was a little embarrassing to take my shirt off on camera and that's not good. It's more about how I feel and also about being strong and healthy for my family so that I can punch through all the barriers that we might come through in life and be strong and healthy for them. It's any excuse to try and get healthy, I'm down with. So I'm glad Miguel called me out on that. On my way home from the post office, I stopped at the store to look for some running shoes. I've been using these running shoes for about 10 years now. Look at these things. I think it's safe to say that <laughs> I'm due for a new pair of running shoes already. I tried to find the shoes that I really wanted, which were these ones, but they don't they didn't stock them there. I think they're gonna be tough to find because these are like 10 years old again. So I'm gonna have to go on a, online and find a nice pair of running shoes because I'm gonna be getting my butt kicked into gear, man. Just you guys wait, just you wait, Miguel. I'm gonna 
I'm going to win this challenge. I don't even know what the details are. We haven't talked about what the details are at all. But I'm doing it, man. All right, let's go jump on the scale. That's a good place to start. I promise this is it. And then we're going to get the boys and pull out the retics. Thanks for your patience, guys. All right, well, I've got no clothes on right now. This is extremely embarrassing. I'm going to stand on the scale. 194. That is definitely a little bit heavy for the likes of me, so I know that I'm at my true fighting fighting strength when I'm at like 175 pounds. So I've got about 19 pounds to lose. Not too bad, but I'm gonna plan to put on muscle at the same time too, so mm. All right, we got the boys. At first they told me no, we don't want to hang out with six. Now they can't even keep their hands off the drawers. Hey, hold on a second there, mister. We're starting with the smallest retics, and then we're building up to the bigger retics, okay? So who, which one is the smallest reticulated python here? Um, uh, Sonic. That's a ball python. Uh, that one. This is Smog, the smallest ball python. I want to hold that reticulated one. python. I want to hold that one. You want to hold that one, my guy? Yeah. Oh, He's I want to cool. hold that one. We're all going to take turns holding the snakeys, my guys. I want to hold it. Bing, bing, bing. Hey, I did it, did it, did it. Who's going to go first? Oh. No, but who's really gonna go first? We need to figure out how you guys are gonna decide who's gonna go first. I want to. Yeah, I but, want but to. we need to figure out a fair way to see who's gonna be first. I am. <laughs> how about whoever touches that right there gets to? Uh, no, we didn't decide. You can't. That's cheating. I want to do this one. <laughs> All right, Eli, you can get that one, and then we'll, me and Noah will take out the retick, okay? Oh yes. Okay, okay. All right, Noah, let's get the retake. Eli is a fairly professional snake handler at this point, so he knows what he's doing. This is smog. Guys, they have girl names and girls. They have fun. So smog stands for sexy motley orange glow, which is exactly what this little dude is. Whoa, bye bye. <laughs> hey, you're going nowhere. This one's a little too freaky. <laughs> the next one's gonna be even more freaky. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, that one is a big one. So this is this is Elvis. He is a super dwarf reticulated python. Well, they're all retics. He's a super dwarf, and he came here as a rescue, and was very very flighty. Still a little bit flighty, but was very defensive and was always biting. And he's calmed down a lot since he's been here, so it's pretty sweet. You know, you want to take a turn? Go ahead. semi arboreal and they have a very prehensile tail. Oh, hey, let's go. What's up, bud? Here, let me help you out. Daddy. What's up? Remember how I used to like the snakeys lick my hand with their tongue? <laughs> Instead of licking you with their tails? Yeah. <laughs> and their tongue is how does they smell? Yes. Because they don't have a nose. Well, they, they have a nose, but they smell with their tongue, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, He's got you all wrapped up. Um, Whoa! You're not going in there. <laughs> you see. So this is kind of a perfect example of how super dwarfs can be a little bit flighty. And like to move around a lot and run kind of like a, a big corn snake sometimes. Not always the case, but definitely the case with Elvis. I know, let's try the next snake. All right, <laughs> this guy Elvis is all over the place. When he was moving on my tummy, and he wrapped him out in my arm. <laughs> He's kind of a rascal. <laughs> he is kind of a rascal. I wouldn't watch this 
I want to watch. I want to make the page. Huh? I want to watch. I want to open this to paint. Okay, and put that one back. Yay, Mr. Pink. You love Mr. Pink. Yes, he does. Alright, Noah, you ready for the next snake? Yeah. Next retick? Is this one going to be bigger? Yeah, we're going to go bigger and bigger. We're going from mm -hmm. smallest to biggest. Okay. So this is Junior. Junior is a motley golden child's reticulated python. He's been having some issues. We've been taking him to the vet. His uh, face has been swelling up and whatnot, and he's been having some blockage in his tear duct. He just finished a course of antibiotics, and we're hoping that he's gonna on the road to recovery, but besides that, which I'm sure is very annoying for him, he's uh, he seems to be doing pretty okay. One of the great things about golden child motley reticulated pythons is that they are very, very iridescent. The iridescent shows off extremely well. So Junior's bigger than the one I was just yeah. holding. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's way heavier. And way calmer. Yeah, he's definitely calmer. Get me. So no, the main thing I want you to do is I want you to keep his head off the ground, okay? okay. Whatever you do, keep his head off of the ground. So keep controlling his head. Keep controlling his front and don't let his head go on the ground. And if you can do that, it's a lot easier to hold a reticulated python. Once their head goes on the ground, then they're gonna to try to run away. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're doing a good job, bud. It's really heavy. You're doing a real good job. Uh oh, uh oh. He's on the ground. It's alright. Just remain calm. Uh oh. Want me to help you out? Yeah. Or you can just put him down and go back to his front. Grab his front. Grab his head. He's strong, huh? Yeah. Daddy. What's up? And Tyler was hoping you know, mommy get Junior's thought he was kind of moving because to get shots it hurts. Yes. <laughs> Might to go on to the next one. <laughs> you want to get the next snake? Yes. The next snake is bigger. <laughs> okay, here, come put him away. Hi, Mommy. You're squeezing my throat. So I couldn't breathe. And I got this snake, and I'm all done with this one. Alright, now you ready for the next snake? Yeah. Who, who's this? Buttercup. That's Buttercup. So, Buttercup is. A lavender genetic stripe. I didn't know buttercup's bigger than Junior. Yeah, just a little bit. Ew! Yeah, we gotta change out her paper. Yeah, we'll be taking out Halo soon, too. Okay, uh, yeah, don't hold her head back. Just kind of let her go if she wants. Who's the next snake going to be after this? Um, after this is gonna be Patsy LaRue. Or actually, Beatrice. No, Patsy LaRue. Patsy LaRue and then Beatrice. Beatrice. Control her head. You ready for an even bigger snake? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's not your home. <laughs> Daddy. What's up? These snakes push their body. Since snakes don't have legs, do they push their body weight which moves them? Mm -hmm. I could push my body weight like this. Mm 
What do you know? I know. Chemicals. What about chemicals? That they're poisonous. And some chemicals have an X with bones on it. An X made out of bones. And that's what I know. Oh, and it's poisonous. <laughs> you don't forgot a spinner. All right, you hold the camera and take it out, and then we'll switch. Okay. I'll take it out, and then while you hold the camera. She's just trying to watch the water, Noah, so she might pee on you. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> She's Patsy with. Lou. Patsy LaRue. She's named after your great grandma. Named after. After great grandma Patsy. Watch what you're filming, the my guy. The one who's at, in Long Beach. Yeah. You let her name the snake. Can we name the snake after her? Well, I can't really film it any longer. Is it getting too heavy for you? Yeah. Are you holding it like I told you to against your body? You're not using your body. <laughs> Use the, yeah, like that. Yeah, but when it's on my body, it's looking down. So, Patsy LaRue is a phantom sunfire het purple albino. She's really cool. I like the fire part about it. <laughs> I heard it breathing. Wanna hold her? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, she was holding water in her mouth. Oh. She spit. She spit water on you. <laughs> <laughs> so reticulated pythons will do that sometimes. They'll drink water and they'll just hold it in their mouth. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> so she. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever seen anybody get spit on by a reticulated python or any snake for that matter. Noah, you're a special guy. Look at that. You got. You got Oliver. Yeah. You're holding the whole snake. That's a big snake. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. You just keep holding it. Around your shoulders. It's heavier than the camera. <laughs> so this girl might look like she's a little bit too small or <laughs> too big for this tub. But the thing is, I had her in one of these big cages over here. And she was pushing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. She just is one of those snakes that just wants to be in a little tighter hidey hole. So once I put it in there, she stopped pushing and messing up her face. So. Tried to give the snakes what they want while they're here and whatever's gonna keep them happy and not going crazy and trying to escape their enclosure. So this is her pick. This is Beatrice. She is a Mochino reticulated python. And Mochino is an allelic combination between Mocha and Clark Albino. You wanna try and hold her, Noah? Mm-hmm. All right. This isn't as heavy as the one before this. Oh, yes she is. <laughs> you don't have the whole thing on you yet. You got her though. You got the whole thing. <laughs> oh, Noah's holding the whole snake. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That is a big one. She's a in the back of my neck. You're doing so good, bud. You can just sit down if you want to. <laughs> Look at you, butt boy. <laughs> Why don't you move on to the next one? You ready for the next one? You're crazy. Is the next one going to be Halo? Yeah. This is Halo. She's a lavender motley tiger citron. And she has been here longer than any of the other reticulated pythons that we keep. And although she's not the biggest snake anymore, she is definitely the most docile and gentle and we take her to all of our educational events to let her hang out with kids and she's just a sweetheart. I trust her around anybody's kid, which is why she comes to the educational events. Just a real, real sweet snake. Aren't you, baby? You wouldn't even hurt anything but a rodent. What's a rodent? A rat or a mouse. Rodents are small animals. Yeah, they're pretty small. They're small mammals. A whale is a mammal. 
everywhere with a mammal. Yep. You want to hold her? Mm. No, you sure? Come on, you held all the other ones. This is little, this is the, the, the biggest snake we're pulling out today. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Okay, she's even heavy for me, bud. I'm impressed with you. Go ahead, stand up. She's even heavy for you. Yeah. Is she the nicest snake we have? Definitely. You let any kid touch her? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Any kid that knows you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> even Jaden? Even Jaden, if you wanted to. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty heavy, huh? I smell poop coming. No, it's not coming. It's not coming. Stand up, bud. There's not poop coming. I promise. It's real heavy. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. Okay, stand up again. We'll try this one more time, okay? This time put it on my, in my arms. In your arms? Okay. Sorry. How you doing? You okay? Yeah. She's nice to me, but super heavy. Yeah. She's heavy. Dude, you're wrangling a big snake right now, bud. Ow! It felt like I was about to break a bone. <laughs> I don't think so. You're doing good, guy. Look at that big snake. Look at that little guy. Dude, you're doing how, so good. You're going to have... How old you is... Grab this, part, grab this part quick. You're going to have the whole thing. How old you're going to have all of her. How old is she? She's like five, four years old. Oh! <laughs> She's younger than me, but stronger. Mm. This is really funny. <laughs> I need to happen again. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today and hanging out with all our reticulated pythons. Uh, obviously, Betsy Ross. Just like me, the Halo. <laughs> Betsy Ross is obviously much bigger than this. <laughs> but she's in the shed right now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna bother her. But. That'll be for another day. Halo, and watch Halo lick me. <laughs> yep. Also, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend trying this with just any snakes. I know these snakes very well. I know my kids very well, of course. And uh, I knew that this was just gonna be nothing but a ton of fun. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Until we see you next time, we'll see you on Monday. You guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other. What's up, bud? I'm a win on my plane soccer. Oh, you, you'll start soccer pretty soon. That's so fun. That's a million so fun. One hundred a million and infinity so fun. So, today is fat, fat boy, fat boy, fat boy Friday.